Hi, my name is Boris Vos and I'm the senior instructor for the Lead Ranger program, which is a long-term leadership development program for protected area law enforcement professionals. Um, one of the skills that park rangers uh, in protected areas use, for instance, like here in the Kasigao Corridor in Kenya, uh, is tactical tracking. So the ability to follow the minute changes that are being left behind by a quarry or a suspect. Um, it's a subject which is close to my heart. It's something that I've been doing for quite a while now, back when I was still serving in the military, um, and now as a senior instructor on this program. Um, so when my good friend Eli from Project Gecko approached me to ask me to run a, uh, a course with him on tactical tracking, I was quite excited. Um, it was a bit difficult to find the time, so, uh, but I think we managed to pull it off. So I'd like to take an opportunity to, to invite you to this course. Um, and also tell you a little bit about what we are going to try to achieve within those few days. Um, it's a one-off course this year. It's run from 14 till 17 June in Prague in the Czech Republic. Um, it's a great area with a varying sort of environment that we can use for this training. And it's a tactical tracking course. So in these few days we will talk about um, how we can train our eyes and our brain and that combination to detect these minute changes that are left behind by a person or an animal or a, or a machine, a vehicle, um, and how we can interpret these, these minute changes, these little uh, clues, to get an understanding of what has happened. Um, in a very relaxed atmosphere, I think it's, it's the only way to teach this proper. Um, and once we lay that foundation, we're going to be looking at the tactical side of things. And this is going to be a bit of a travel through time. Um, so we're going to be looking at how tactical tracking developed over the years. Um, you know, looking at the uh, close country five-step track pursuit drill as developed by the British uh, during the Malayan, um, Malayan emergency Borneo confrontations in the 60s and the 70s. Uh, we're going to be looking at the teams back in Rhodesia that were doing the tracking during the bush wars, um, all the way developing into the very aggressive skills as used, for instance, by Kuvut uh, in what now is, uh, is Namibia and, and former sort of Southwest Africa, where they were utilizing vehicles, large groups of trackers, very aggressive, very fast follow-ups, um, also working together with air assets. And then straight back to how we are utilizing it in the military today, how our rangers are utilizing it, and even law enforcement Euro, uh, units in Europe. So by going through these tactics and discussing why they have developed in, into what, what they are and what they turned out to be, you know, environment, the threat, the rules of engagement, um, uh, you know, team composition, equipment capability, all these things that, that make a tactic for what it is, we're going to look at them, we'll, we're going to experience them a little bit and you know, know my good friend Eli a bit, there'll be some force on force training to validate uh, some of these tactics, see the pros and cons. And, and hopefully when you come away from this course after a couple of days, you'll have a solid foundation in learning how to see sign and interpret sign and, and you're able to pull that away and take that into your own environment, your own workspace and develop it even further. And also a thorough understanding of what makes a, an efficient and effective tracking SOP and a tracking tactic. Um, someone once said that, uh, that tracking may be one of the most uh, dangerous types of operations that you can do. And, and it does make sense to some extent because you do not get to choose the ground you walk on. You, you will have to walk where your quarry has walked most of the time, not always. Um, some chuffed to bits about it. We'll even do a bit of night tracking, see how we can use light manipulation to, to see the sign at night. And then hopefully after a couple of very intensive days, um, you'll go away with a new tool, um, a new enthusiasm for, for, a, for a really cool skill set. Um, and the other great thing is, is that all the innings from this course, after cost, will go straight into the Lead Ranger program here in Kenya, in East Africa. Um, and it will help us to train and develop the future leaders of anti-poaching and protected area law enforcement. So as far as I can see it, it's a win-win situation and I'm, I'm really looking forward to welcoming you on this course. There's a few spots left, so you gotta be quick, um, but hopefully see you in June in the Czech Republic. Thank you.